Girls science and a whole lot of winning. A group of friends started a robotic team three years ago. Today they got some amazing news that now Detroit's Matthew Smith was there and takes us inside their success story. <laughs> to be honest, um, uh, they excelled much quicker, much faster than I thought they would. Five 12 year olds, five friends. Five programmers of Dash. That's their name for this robot. The little fella, that's Dot. We had Dash move his head like there. He turned his head so that the ball would drop into the cup. This obstacle they're reenacting for us made the girls finalists out of the more than 5,000 teams that competed in this year's Wonder Workshop competition. They say the Dashers, they call them Gumdrop, was a bit rusty. He's nervous, he's stressed out. But he got the job done soon enough. You can see with the orange. All this programming, the work of these seventh graders, no school affiliation, just pure self motivation. I'm just giddy. I'm, I'm uh, speechless. I, I just, uh, I, as a coach, I get nervous when they're competing uh, and it's nerve wracking. But then when they, when they come off the field and they're excited whether they did uh, had a, a poor run or a great run, they just come off the field and they're excited and they're happy and it just, it just makes it all worth it. It turns out their run was pretty dang good because as they gathered today to see the results. <laughs> They got a hint that they may have done well when the Pink Eagles heard that eagle call. And when the competition officially announced the winner by Facebook Live. Eagles from Michigan! We did it! Oh my god! They were the last team standing. I was kind of like hoping that we would win, but you know, it's kind of like tough competition. But we pushed through so many obstacles that I knew that we could do it if we tried hard enough. And they certainly did put a lot of work into it. It wasn't just the program, but you can also see the design. This is the fifth version of what they actually did to make Gundrop run through that obstacle course. And they've got a lot more work ahead because now that this competition is wrapped up, they have more that are coming up in a matter of days and weeks. We've got the information at WXYZ.com. For the Now Detroit, I'm Matthew Smith. Did he really say they were 12? <laughs> well, when they started the process. They, Isn't I mean, that incredible? incredible? I love that. I love that they're doing that. My daughters yeah. are taking coding at her school, and the, girl, the girls are all into it. They're loving it. It's, it's awesome. wonderful to see, right? Yes, we they, need more women in the whole STEM field yes, and do. all that. we got to start them young. So congratulations to them. Great work. All right. This